Yeah, from um, just one more. <clears throat> this was a uh, trade over the last couple of days and last night um, in the British pound. <clears throat> um, again, had a nice, this is a daily chart, had a nice retracement up into the 10 period and sort of in the zone between the 10 period and the midpoint on the Bollinger Band, which is uh, basically 21 period moving average. Um, so it's kind of just watching price action in here. And then when this news came out, <clears throat> um, actually, I need to just check something here. I always get I always get a little confused on uh, which of the futures track in the same direction. Okay, so the pound is the pound and the the pair trade in the same direction in terms of the futures uh, futures versus the pair, I should say. Anyway, um, since I was considering it sort of from a longer term perspective on the short side, um, when we got below this level right in here, really I should have sold one of these tests up in here. Actually, this is the test I should have sold. Um, but I wanted to give it a little bit of breathing room, so I just went ahead and shorted it here and put in a stop above the high, um, got stopped out on that, and then had some acceptance above it, Went ahead and got long once it tested tested the high of that um, agenda range right there. Got long there. Um, pretty much made my loss back <clears throat> on that trade. And uh, you know, if I had been paying attention in here, I would have uh, I would have actually bought it back right in here because it had acceptance above this green green uh, volume surge. Um, and then I'm still thinking um, on the short side, so. Again, let's just take a look. So I'm looking at this range right here. If we pan over here. We we punched through it with some volume right here, so I got short. Um, I put in a sell order to get short right in here. And um, this morning I covered, I shorted a little bit more, one more right here, and covered one there. And I'm just letting this next one uh, go here. And again, you know, put my stop just right above that that resistance zone, and um, you know, if I had been watching this right here, I would have gotten short more. Uh, I would have reshorted that one at least right here because it had a nice test of that zone, and then um, had some volume and a squat bar, and uh, that would have been a perfect trade right there. But anyway, I'm just gonna wait and see um, if we can get some more continuation uh, continuation down on the daily. Um, you know, maybe even a new low, we'll see. Anyway, that's it on the pound.